Uh, well, this year we've got uh, the old favourites um, and we've got some new additions as well. Um, probably everybody has heard by now that the Moroccan community are very, uh, <laughs> we're very pleased to welcome them back. Uh, they were absent last year due to Ramadan and even though it's Ramadan this year they're back again so their panchitos will be uh, on sale again which are always very very popular. Uh, we've got the Indian stall, we've got Gibraltarian stall obviously selling calendita and we have some new additions like Taiwanese and, and a new one that was uh, here last year which is the Hungarian stall doing those amazing uh, sort of uh, rolling breads which I'm really looking forward to. And a new addition this year is uh, Cocktail Terrace. So Calentita was originally born to showcase uh, the different uh, cultural groups within our community. Nowadays it's evolved into something else. It even showcases uh, the different uh, lifestyles present. We've really noticed that there are a lot more sort of vegan, vegetarian options and, uh, and we're also engaging with that. We're always trying to reduce the environmental impact of this event. And uh, this year we're doing something called the Calentita Star Choice Awards which we're going to give to stores that have made the extra special effort to reduce waste or produce something which has a, a, a sort of conscious uh, um, element to it. The entertainment always a big part. What's planned for this year? We're going to have a bit of the old favourites. We've got uh, Urban Dance doing a number of different uh, displays, uh, so we're really pleased to welcome them back. They've been with us basically since the beginning. Uh, we have a live kitchen with demonstrations from chefs and also uh, we've got a uh, bar specialist doing a sort of cocktail show which will be very interesting and we also have lots of live music as well.